Hello once again. Now, we're back. Now, this time this is example number 3. Since we already have previously our example 1 and 2 in finding the center of each key and radius R of a circle. Now, in this case, in our example number 3, we have this given general form. General form or an equation of a circle. So we have 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 8x plus 7 equal to 0. Now, to solve this one, as you can see, 2x squared is divisible by 2, 2y squared is also divisible by 2, and 8x is also divisible by 2, and 7 can also be divided by 2. So what we're going to do is, we divide all terms by 2. To make it simple. So we have 2x squared will be divided by 2. 2y squared will also be divided by 2. 8x will also be divided by 2. So we have 7. It will also be divided by 2. Equal to 0. Okay, we divide that 2. We also divide 0 by 2. Now, we can cancel 2. Since 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x squared, we still have x squared. We cancel 2. What remains is y squared. Next, we have 8 divided by 2. That is 4. So we have 4x. And then 7 divided by 2 is 7 over 2. So let's just leave it as it is. And then equal to 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Now, next is we transpose 7 over 2. We put 7 over 2 on the other side. And we group all x by one group. And we group y squared on another group. So we have x squared plus 4x, so this will be one group, plus we have y squared, since we only have y squared, so as it is, y squared, and then equal to 7 over 2, we transpose, we put that one on the other side, it will become negative 7 over 2. Next, our step is to complete the square. So we have x squared, plus 4x, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So we're going to add 4 to complete our square. So this, to complete this perfect square trinomial. Plus, since we only have y squared, it is understood that our y is 0, so we have 0y, and our third coefficient should be 0. And then, negative 7 over 2. Since we added 4, so we need to put 4. Here, we, only, we added nothing, so it's the 0. So, we only have 4. Next is, we continue. Since we don't have any space, I need to erase this one. From here, so we're going back, above. Now the factor of x4 plus 4x plus 4 will be x plus 2 and then squared. The factor of y squared plus 0y plus 0 is so we have plus y minus 0 and then we have squared. Or we can have plus here since we all use plus. And then negative 7 over 2 plus 4. We have our LCD which is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times negative 7, we have negative 7. The denominator of 4 is 1, it is understood that it is 1, so we have 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 4 that is plus 8. Negative 7 plus 8 is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, negative 7 over 2 plus 4 is 1 half, or 1 over 2. That is equal to 1 So here we have our x key. Our x is, since it is positive, therefore we have negative 2. So we have here y plus 0. So our key is 0. Although it is positive, but we can use 0 as a negative. So 0 is 0. There is no sign with 0. It's neutral. Or should I say 0? I have no sign. So we have 0. And then, our radius is 
Since so, remember that one half here is our r squared, so we put r squared is equal to one half. Or simply saying that r is the square root of one half. Our radius is the square root of one half. That's all. I hope you learned something on today's video. And once again, thank you for watching.